Well, I think that they're competing with other platforms, and then the bigger aspiration is television and print. And Facebook has been pretty consistent on that as well. The digital pie is just not big enough to get to the multiples and the revenue that they need. But ultimately, I mean, Tim Armstrong made some very good comments at the UBS conference where he talked about dramatic concentration happening and it going to just a handful of large properties. I think between the 600 million people on WhatsApp, the you know billion some odd on Facebook, and then now 300 million on Instagram, God, talk about concentration. Yeah, I, I believe him. And take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is uh, a chart that I made. Let's see if you can get it. Hard to see, but I think a little hard to idea. see, but it's starting to show up. That is Instagram's growth rate from the numbers that they've released. You'll notice that line is not flattening out. It's impressive. The last number on there is the 300 million. They're not so much competing with Twitter because there's this uh, secular shift happening into digital media, and there aren't a lot of services aside from Facebook and WhatsApp that have the scale that Instagram does, and the demographics in particular. When you look at the youth that are there, it's a visual social medium. I mean, there's really a lot of potential yeah. here. I think Google might need to be concerned when you think about what Instagram could do with video down the line. Absolutely. But for Twitter, I mean, just devastating. I mean, 284 million users adding just, you know, single digit millions every single quarter. It's not enough. This will go down in history, I think, as an acquisition like YouTube. Just a very smart one that leveraged them into something completely different, got them the teens that there was concern that they were leaving Facebook around. So just, a, I think, a great acquisition all around oh, proven cool. out.